What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of TLA. Well, welcome back to a recent episode of TLA. I haven't been around for a while. Um, so a few things have been happening since uh, since I've last touched base with you guys. Uh, I held my ARW tournament a few weeks ago, and um, ever since then, I got sick with this current COVID that has been going around and it kind of put me out of uh, order and videos for the last few uh, weeks. So finally healthy now, getting back into it. I'm excited to get back out here. We're out on the Marin Coast and we're hanging out with uh, two stealth guys. So these stealth guys are, uh, they're, they're, they're kind of cool. There's two of them. There's two stealth guys right there and they're really... We're not stealth guys, I'm Eddie, <laughs> my friend Momo. <laughs> and we just we just want to get some blood on our vehicles. Our it happens to be a stealth. <laughs> so we're gonna go out here. We're back on the Marin Coast. Beautiful place. Uh, very productive a few years ago, but I don't know the anchovies have or have not shown up. It's all about the anchovies because you know anchovies are just cool that way. And um, and wherever they go, you know the party always goes along with them. So so we're gonna go out and try to get some fish right now. On this episode, I was joined by Eddie, one of my good friends, Paul, Mumu Outdoors, of course, you guys don't know him, and also Michael. This year has been awesome. Because, <laughs> uh... I don't believe that one. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, of course. Of course. I didn't really get to fish much, um, and I still haven't caught my first keeper Halloween. Oh, so. no. I'm so sad. I know, but well, we're gonna we're gonna try to make an attempt to change it. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I, I need. I need uh, I don't know. I lost my mojo. I. You sold your mojo. Yeah. You sold your mojo. <laughs> <laughs> it went with the boat. <laughs> it was a package deal. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> Beautiful day out in the water. I'll take it whenever I get it. Water is 52 degrees. Let's see if we can find some anchovies kind of breaching. If we can't, then there won't be any fish here. Water clarity, decently clear. Not bad. One of my favorite fishes to use throughout the summer is the sex herring. With bait becoming increasingly expensive, catching your own over the winter will pay off great dividends over the summer months. You can follow my herring spawn thread on my website to learn more. Sex herring is my preferred bait because they simply produce fish. Make sure to brine it up to get the best results. The basic brine consists of salt, water, and a bluing agent such as Mrs. Stewart's bluing agent. There are many variations to this recipe, but for me, I just like to keep things simple. We drawed our sex herring around the anchovy balls all morning. It was a gorgeous day, as you guys can see. Make sure to check the weather forecast before fishing. It's not always as nice. Here's a TLA tip. If you see bait suspended from the ground, and with holes in it, there's a likely chance that some fish are feeding on them. the whole morning it looks like the bite has finally started to turn on just in the last uh, 20 minutes or so boom got a fish uh, let's see who else got a fish Michael got a fish and also ooh, just a bait right here. and also uh, Paul got a fish so they all got a fish like within the last 20 minutes or so so it, means, it just means that the whatever it is the tide it might, and now the fish is on a bite. You know, so it's tidal. It's tidal, man. 
I hate my element. All right, all right. Time to move on. Uh, yeah, baby. Pause, you know. baby. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Joe, we got a video! <laughs> and it's pumping. And it's heavy. Gotta keep this. I started to bitch and whine <laughs> that I couldn't get a fish. I got a fish. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> this is big, mama. See? See? You want to catch a fish, you got to bitch and complain. <laughs> because you know what? That's the only way to get a fish. Oh, no, no. My ball. Can you grab the It's not over here until you can use the gas. That's true. I got it. Yeah, thank you. So. Ah, oh, finally. There you go. All right, guys. There you go. All right. Let's see if I can get another one here. The action started to pick up and Michael got a really nice 28 inch halibut right over the anchovy balls. With the halibut starting to get back on the bite, it was time to really start focusing and get back on the troll and put the bait right in front of the fish. Alright guys, on the way in, just got hammered, just got hammered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fish on. Oh, all right, guys. So, just got on a fish. Right here, feels heavy. Feels heavy for sure. All right, slam my bait. Definitely feels heavy. Got some weight to it. Terrible gap job, but that's a dashy terrible gap job. <laughs> yeah, how you take care of business ain't the greatest, but the keeper. Yeah. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted, or else you <laughs> the fish gods are gonna make sure you <laughs> Bro. Here's a TLA pro tip when it comes to surf landing. When you have decided this is the right time to go, paddle, paddle, paddle with all your might and don't look back because if you do, it's gonna be a big mistake. Alright guys, we're back on land. Ah, oh, it's great to finally get the summer going. Finally! <laughs> we got Momo Outdoors, we got Eddie, uh, the, the sturgeon, the 
the Halley killer, the salmon killer, whatever it is. We got Paul over here, over there. Paul was the hand early on killer. Yeah, there you go. That's it, right there. Mr. Lobenstein got a 28, so, you know. Everybody got a little action. Everybody got a little action. It's on him. Yeah. Oh, is today the day? Today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day. Finally. We shake for skunks. We shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> How many? What do you get today? I, got, I just got one. He's got one. Yeah. It's good enough. But you did miss a bite. Yeah. Yeah. Then a day with good friends and the fish were fighting at the end of the day. So we had to work for it. But that's fishing for you in general. Okay. Move. Yes. What do we say at the very end of a video? <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. If you like these videos, make sure you share, <laughs> like, and subscribe. And like Moose says, Go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Visit our store in beautiful Redwood City, where we have everything you need to get started. Our helpful staff will get you situated and answer any questions you may have. If you are in the East Bay, come check out our brand new store in beautiful Brooklyn Basin. From SUPs to PFDs, our shop has everything you need and our friendly staff will get you situated and in the water in no time.